Good morning everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 in Ravnica. We are playing as Nith Mizet, the Paladin of the Ezer League, and we are best buddies forever with, uh, with uh, Zagana of Simic, uh, Simic Combine, I think? What is her full title? Consul Zagana of Simic something. Okay, it's not going to tell me. So yeah, we, we are communists and they are communists somehow, and we are best friends forever. And we also are massive, massive elite on tech. So it's not like uh, there's much risk for of uh, anybody overtaking us on tech right now. We might not be tech leader, but we are. I mean, we are about equal with them, which is good enough. They create great work, and unfortunately, we now have to just shuffle them to see if they get any uh, feeling bonuses or anything silly like that. And there's no music feeling bonuses. The only one. If we get one more great work of writing, then we could get one here. This is not possible to ever uh, complete. This is uh, three are uh, three uh, great works from same uh, era and civilization. That's never gonna happen. I mean, if you dedicate your entire uh, work to that, wait, you don't have any more slots for that in, for the future. So we should build at least one more opera house somewhere, just in case. I'll make sure I just queue some uh, opera houses. Okay, there's uh, one opera house queued. Uh, I don't think we're going to need that any earlier than that. Opera house queued. Okay, so we have two opera house queues. Uh, that's just fine. So right now. I would say I kind of want to go to war with uh, Rakdos, and my plan to go to war with Ant and Dimir. So those two cities are relatively easy to take. I mean, I'm saying relatively. That's not super. It's not super easy. It's just like in relative terms, easier than um, many alternative strategies. Oh well, uh, what's the? Okay, if I uh, actually I could send. Okay, I can send some dudes. It's not that I have any use for them. So this means that I need to send my uh, troops to Vilnius. Not all of them, but just some number. Or maybe send them actually to uh, basically Dragonberg. And uh, let's take a look at Great Lighthouse, because that's what I want to actually build. Great Lighthouse. So I've said like the best, one of the best features, or one of my favorite features of all times, uh, of uh, reform and rule mode is that it moves Great Lighthouse to require a commerce, no, so exploration uh, opener. Uh, it really makes exploration actually useful, even on not uh, on not uh, super uh, water oriented maps. This is like a fractal is like mostly land map. It's not a crazy land map like Great Plains or Pangea, but this is mostly land map. And it's still really useful. Plus one movement, plus one sight for all naval, naval units is super useful. Or, well, maybe useful. No, I mean, at some point. Wait, all of this? Okay. Uh, so much for my exploration plan. Well! Okay. So let's start moving the units. I have one artillery I got from City State, which actually is super sad artillery because it doesn't actually have any upgrades. So let's start moving the units. I'm just going to move them to... Okay, how many units do I need? <coughs> I need one general, at least. Let's get a general. I need a Gatling gun. And let's get two Gatling guns, uh, two artillery, a calf. Uh, I already have one... Uh, yeah, I could get the military academy here and just start spamming, let's say, frigate. Like, two or three frigates would be just fine. Uh, second general, yeah, sure. It's not a spam of units, it's just like a decent number of units. Uh, okay, we have more coal to sell. And we're going to sell, uh, buy our coal. You want to buy our coal. You're probably not going to give us a good price. That would be most dubious if you actually paid that. No, you don't want to pay that. Uh, Rack doesn't want to pay that. I mean, we're going to work eventually, but not just yet. Okay, let's see how much we're paying. 3 for 3, that's just reasonable. Okay, that's fine. So I would like to get... Uh, wait. Wow, that was horrible, removing this... I can't build a farm here. Okay, so removing this uh, uh, forest was absolutely a dreadful idea. Somehow I thought I'd be able to build a farm here, but no, I cannot, obviously. Um, sure, build a lumber mill. I don't usually build a massive number of lumber mills, but like a few is fine. Oh, that needs like fixing. This is really nice tiles that are not being currently workable. I mean, they're workable, 
they just don't have the improvements uh, doing anything useful. Now Ally of Prague. Sydney targets nearby encampments, which are we are sending uh, some dudes against. Wait, Sydney? What? This one is... Okay. That seems it's pretty far from Sydney, but whatever. Okay, uh, I'm just going to send one more unit. Okay, I can upgrade it to the Lancer, which might be useful. Yeah, sure. Lancers are not amazing units, but they're okay. Uh, this is Sniper Scout. Oh my god, I can use so much on the front lines. Uh, so yeah, so that should be enough. If I got like two more artillery, do I even need artillery against Rex, uh, Rick's Muddy? It would be useful. I can't frigate you. Like I would like to get some two or three frigates when I attack Dusk Mantle. But for fight with Rick's Muddy, I can just like, I mean they have knights. I think they're behind on tech. Like how behind on tech are, are they? Uh, technologies. Uh, Rakdos is way behind on tech. Okay, that's just crazy behind on tech. Uh, Dimir is semi-competitive. No, they're not competitive at all. Nobody's competitive, really. Everybody's so behind. I say Azorius is probably going to be massive pain in the Astraxia fight. Uh, mostly because they have so many uh, allies. Okay, that's too much money. If I if have actually quest for gold, I might actually give them gold. So I keep this gold saved in the bank just for purchases. There's no point spending it right, right away. Ah, uh, so many bastards. Anyway, let's just next turn a few times. There's so many options that they can use. Uh, like, for example, this one, or asking to not move the... Like, or when, for example, I move the, my troops in New Day territory, they can ask me to declare war or promise, promise not to. I can't do that. Open borders from Hesperia, okay, uh... Well, if I need that, I'm just going to get it back at some point. Uh, Brussels needs, uh, calls for fate. Am I going to win this? I have the lead. I actually have a lead with fate. I... Pretty decent amount of fate put being produced. Okay, let's get, um, Inquisitor. Should I just get a Great Prophet? Maybe I should just get a Great Prophet. I mean, every Great Prophet is more expensive and Inquisitors are not. Uh, okay, so that makes sense to get an Inquisitor before Modern Era. On the other hand, what do I need Inquisitor for? Why did I even scroll? Uh, I could get, like, Great Prophet to flip Mogadishu and Vilnius. This is a holy, si holy side, okay, that might be difficult to flip. Uh, I could get a Great Prophet to flip, let's say, Sydney and then Orzova and Hanoi and some other city. There aren't that many city-states I can just randomly flip. So, maybe I should just get an Inquisitor and clear up this one? Where is it getting the pressure from? And uh, What's this religion? Oh, come on, come on, come on, give me a... Uh, it's one of the Christianity variants, but which one is this? And, uh, okay. I'll just check the buy icon. This is Cat Catholic Christianity, this is Celestia, so... it's. Shouldn't have much pressure left. It's just a leftover from Celestia. Like all the core Celestia city got uh, converted. No, it's not. So they actually get a massive pressure because it's a holy site. Uh, that's kind of awkward. So I should probably get a great prophet just to convert those few cities. Yeah, let's get a great prophet. Or can I actually get any uh, pagodas or stuff? I can get pagodas. Okay, let's get pagodas. Uh, I can even buy pagodas. Okay, let's buy a pagoda. Like here. Where can I buy a pagoda? There's a pagoda. Okay. Can I get more pagodas? Nope. So let's say for a great profit. That makes sense. Uh, Alright. Let's start moving troops around. Uh, this is somewhat dangerous because right now they have absolutely no uh, no protection on server. So if the AI actually was smart, which is not, they could just wreck me on the way. And it's not like a huge army. I mean, it's a decent army, but it's not like crazy big anything.
Well, I guess I'm gonna get rifling in two turns, so I might as well go back. Yeah, let's go back and get rifling. <laughs> and it's just silly not to. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, just go there. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to go to Refractus, but then again, like, what the hell are my uh, troops doing? Okay, this, uh... There's a Barbarian camp here, that's being targeted by Sydney. I'm decently competitive in terms of city-states. In World Congress I have... This is way better than decently competitive, actually. It's a very good uh, track record of city-states. Uh, okay, the leader has... I'm actually be able to win this. I have a lot of faith, like a crazy amount of faith. Wait, this is a way actually to see the faith production. No, I don't even have to go there. Uh, let's go here. We can see the faith here, obviously. No, this is total one. Okay, total faith produced ever. What? No, this is bullshit. This is not. This is just current distorted faith. Obviously, that's not the total faith. That's that's just crazy. And. Uh, it sounds weird. Is it a faith production? Faith gain, okay. Uh, oh, so we are not even close to being uh, the leader. No, no, actually we are close. We are just two, uh, two behind. So if I fix that, I will win all the city-state quests for that. Okay, so we are temple queued. Uh, I should queue all the temples if I don't have a temple somewhere. I should build a grand temple. Can I build a grand temple somewhere? Do I have a grand temple? Do I? I don't think so. Grind temple. I need temples in Sotten, Staten, or Zova. Okay, let's just build some temples. Here. Uh, okay, this is already uh, Tartar built a temple. Uh, just after bank, that's just fine. Uh, that's just going to be just barely enough to get us competitive in this kind of quest. Uh, let's cut this f and build a mine. Okay. That's Tundra, so we just built a lumber mill. Alright, so we can discover what the hell is going on here. Uh, is that in range? Nope, that's outside range, I think, by one tile. Okay, so can't we really do much about that? So is my entire invasion fleet going to sit here and do nothing? There's not that much space to even land it. Okay, so you have to go back to my territory, uh, I guess. Okay, so I could do a few things. I could wait with this dragon until it heals up. Uh, or I could get open borders with... No, Gru's not gonna send me open borders. No way in hell. Oh, he will. Oh, that's super surprising. I was pretty sure that's not gonna happen. Okay. Uh, that's going to be uh, mine, so let's cut it first. Th cutting this one was a mistake, a horrible mistake. You should really tell me that that's a horrible mistake, but well, what can I do now? Uh, okay, next turn. Uh, okay, five turns to get... Uh, uh, I'm protecting everyone, I'm protecting everyone. That's good. Uh, so five turns for next policy. Uh, probably something comparable until we get... Uh, sure, I can buy open birds from everyone. Worst case scenario, it just gives me some bonus for tourism and decreases the chance of getting dissidents. Who was announcing me? Orzov. Okay, that's fine. Alright. Oops. Oh no. Uh, they're not going to sell me open borders because we're going to war anyway. So that'll be silly. Okay, they have frigates and like, yeah, I'm not really super strong in terms of my fleet. Okay. Let's just try to get this way. Uh, okay, so I don't have open borders with Hong Kong and they're going to get kind of PC about me, that. Um, right. I hope they move, otherwise, yeah, that's that was a mistake, I'd say. Ah, well, not a huge mistake. 
Oh wow, this is super dangerous. Okay, I could have done. Uh, let's build an opera house, why not? Okay, let's just try to get this uh, without making this really obvious what we're doing. Uh, when we're we getting as faster embark movement, I'm pretty sure there was one more tech that get increased it to four. Uh, let's take a look. Which one was this? Okay, this is the icon. So where is this icon? Oh, steam powder. Okay, that's that's the tech. We could get it, I guess. Uh, when are we stealing tech? We're stealing tech in one turn. Okay, that's fine. And oh my god, that's slow. Oh well. I guess there's no rush. Uh, you really need to go back. It's a mistake to embark you. That's not the happiest kind of uh, invasion. Uh, just build a farm, I guess? That's fine. Okay, uh, can we win tag? No idea. It's on uh, technology, so if somebody's behind and they're catching up, they can actually do really well by taking cheap techs. Actually, no, we're going to make get one tech right now, and we're going to get one tech by stealing it next turn, probably. I mean, there's a chance we're going to get caught. It's not never guaranteed. Let's say that... Okay, uh, Boros adopted autocracy. Okay, so the Boros is not going to be our friends forever. Um, Unfortunately, it was fun while it lasted. Okay. Uh, can I get it back? I adopted uh, my village uh, just for that. Good. Choose research. Uh, didn't I get a free research now? Killed in action! Oh no! Okay. Oh well, happens. Uh, let's get biology then. Okay, everybody's content right now. What about tourism? Uh, okay, once the Miro gets something, and uh, they might get dissidents. If they get order, everybody else is getting screwed. If they get autocracy, everybody else is getting screwed. If they get freedom, it's gonna be more or less balanced. I'm kinda surprised that Boros is not getting dissidents. Also, just look at this happiness. It's just crazy. I guess everybody's overpowered. Ah oh well. Okay, you're all doing good stuff. Uh, library, <laughs> you're all debating library. That's really embarrassing. Ah oh well. Okay, uh, let's continue movement. I would really wish to have a faster embark movement speed. Just this, just now. It's not a super useful thing generally, but right now it is. Okay. Uh, I need to upgrade you. Oh wait, this thing is not... Uh, this tile is not actually fixed. I kinda need to remember that. Alright, uh, nothing there. Nah, nothing there. Well, probably. There could be some random island. I mean, on fractal maps, there's not that many islands. It's mostly strange fractal. Okay, let's try to get... Did I get a penalty for trespassing? Yeah, I did. Oh well. Can I go this way? Okay, I can go this way. Uh, okay, shoot. And, yeah, get yourself some um, experience. And, I guess, get back. And Sydney likes me now more, uh, slightly more. That's all good. Okay, uh, that should be mine. So, chop the forest. Uh, let's try to go through here. 
So unfortunately, I lost three turns of research by getting my uh, spy killed, which is not. Well, I guess it's not that much. Just three turns of research. Uh, this dude probably shouldn't be here even. Um, I should move him somewhere else, like to Tartar, which is more central. I already have two units in this side, so there's no point having another one. And probably the same with General. Just move him here. Okay, so what's my plan? Uh, my plan is landing the troops. Uh, in three turns, we're going to get. Uh, uh, we're going to start working on a great. Uh, probably in three turns. Can I get a? There's kind of no point in getting Inquisitor or Missionary or something like that. Okay, the pressure is not good enough here. Nah, let's get the Prophet, that's fine. Uh, I would like to get one before I go to Modern Era, but Modern Era... Actually, maybe I should get one? We should get a bunch of Missionaries before Modern Era. Okay, next turn. Next turn we're going to get next uh, New Pop. And after New Pop we can go to Next Era. That's fine. Uh, do you want to build work this? No! Stop this! It, this interface is annoying. It's just so easy to misclick and just have uh, have this ask me if I want to sell it. And that's just silly. Um, you seem to be mostly working decent tiles. Not amazing tiles, but decent tiles. Anyway, uh, next turn. What's up? Uh, shall I build a farm? Not sure how many turns until we actually get. Uh, yeah, they have nothing to worth stealing anyway. The only things worth stealing are from Simic and maybe just one random tag from other people. Oh, hello. Okay, so how much would I get if I just uh, bought him now? 5k, that's not terrible. Um, Let's get you some, like, here. Sure, other cities can get academies as well. That's a decent place for academy. They don't have to be all in my capital. Malek promoted, yeah, I kind of still need one more. Uh, I will steal something from Zagana, maybe? She's going to be a bit PC, but we are best, best friends forever, so she'll get over it. So here's the problem, this is a super vulnerable fleet and I have no protection for them. So, if they get wrecked, I can't really do much. And also, like, I don't think this fleet is sufficient to do any kind of uh, proper military action. Uh, frigate, frigate, galleas, oh my god, that's just way too many. So I will have to lie, I really have no choice but to just lie blatantly if they ask me to, if I want to declare war on them, of I'm just passing. Oh, hello, natural wonder. Alright, let's just go around. Two more turns to get... Okay, let's just buy this tile. Uh, I guess you can go here. Uh, a land around here? Sure. Yeah, the fact that he has a, such a fleet advantage is going to be really uh, awkward. I mean, my city state is just going to help me slightly, but not massively. So I should start building some, I guess, privateers or something? No, I should build a military academy here after... Or I could buy it, I guess. Uh, am I going to get any more... Oh, I could get a steam... Uh, some iron class? That makes some sense. I don't think I'll be able to upgrade any of my frigates. All my frigates are in exploration missions, so... That's not great. Okay, anybody wants a trade route? Uh, trade routes. Who wants a trade route? Uh, apparently nobody. Okay, let's just get uh, whatever is the most uh, money. Okay. Uh, is there any more jungle to build tr uh, anything on? No, I can just build like lumber mills or whatever. Okay, let's just go go home. You go here, you go here, and everything's fine. Okay, dragon. Uh, dragon can keep exploring. 
Everybody has those so many E's. Okay, actually I have a much better idea what's going to be the invasion fleet. Okay, let's say we invade here. And we take Rix Madi and let's take Stavanger or Mycene. Uh, or Mycene actually, that's, I mean, this is proper Greek. And then Dusk Mantle and we have no idea what's there. It's actually a pretty good chunk of unexplored territory, so actually getting to Skark from anywhere is going to be relatively difficult, or to get to Sunhome. I mean, right now we're friendly with Sunhome, but it's not gonna last forever, and the same with New Prague, uh, New Prav. It will be difficult to get those last two cities, so I'm, I will get to six capitals, and then I have no idea. I mean, those are just like, not super easy to take, but relatively speaking. Uh, I'd say that's probably good enough, good time to end the episode, and... Uh, uh, in the next episode we're just going to uh, try to get great lighthouse and maybe position ourselves for, for an attack. Yeah, it sounds about right. Not sure if this is going to be easy or hard one. Actually, let's just take a look at uh, the interesting things, which is going to be uh, technologies, of course. Uh, Ragdos is not super behind. I mean, the first tier is EZ and Simic and the Celestia was also in this tier, but they got wrecked. And military. Okay, Ragdos is the highest military in the world, so attacking Ragdos is just fine. Like, could I just denounce Ragdos? Yeah, somebody might like me for it. So, uh, I'm going to end this now. Oh no! Okay, I have a delete here. I don't care. Uh, so, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye!